what's what are we doing here we are so last stream we made steel for the first time uh so we got the uh the fire bricks and the bricked blast furnace going and we had run out of so you're still in recovery, but wife has it worse today. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, uh, Nate. Um, so I was thinking that that the the blast furnace though needed um, cold coke, but it seems like we can just put charcoal in it. Why do I only have 43 charcoal? Oh yeah, I've been feeding these things. Charcoal. Um, well, I hope your your wife feels better soon. Um, there we go. This is charcoal. So can we? We, we want to keep this going. So this was relative to where we are in the game, kind of expensive for us to make, and we want this to be going all the time. And hopefully this works. Or I misunderstood something. I thought this used charcoal. Maybe, so I didn't test this out. I just saw this in a video, but I think the video might've been on a slightly different version of GT and H. So maybe that doesn't work anymore, which is unfortunate. Um, we have some backups though, right? So we could use coal, probably not, honestly. We probably have to put it down into the, uh, the coal, um, the Coke oven to make cold Coke from the Coke. The coal. Um, but the other thing I started doing was we have some coal ore that we mined up, and I was starting to process some of it into coal dust. Let's see if I search for coal here. Let's find all the things. What's neat about this is if you if you search here, then when you look at any inventories, you see things that match that. There's some coal coke. Let's use that. There's some also impure pile of coke dust uh, and crushed coal ore. Uh, weather is windy, but uh, but nice looking outside up here. Well, that's something. That's uh, you know, even if you're, it's, that's a good way to well, like, I think of like appreciating a snowy day as being inside uh, somewhere warm. All right, let's get some cold coke in here. There we go, and that should start going. And we'll make some more steel. Because we're, ne we're gonna need a lot of steel. Um, I think one of the things we're gonna be able to do is maybe start making some of our tools out of steel. Uh, so... <laughs> uh, no, no, just best to... Just don't feed the trolls, Furiago. Uh, Braylon says, I was helping a coworker today, wrote the entire change for him, and he was like, are you creating a PR? No. <laughs> Here's a patch, I'm out of here. <laughs> fair, fair. Yeah, once you create the PR, it's like, now it's your <laughs> thing to carry on. Uh, yeah, so I think between streams, I did make the work table. Uh, we did have all the stuff to make the work table. I just had not done it. So it requires iron screws we, that we've made before and other tools that we have. Not taking ownership of someone else's work, sure. Um, well, I mean, if you wrote the entire change for him, it's kind of your work. And so then they're taking ownership of your work. <laughs> but uh, I'm sure it's more complicated than that. Uh, but this needed a bookshelf. That was the one thing that we had not made before. And so the bookshelf, there's there's ways of making it, but it was essentially books and wooden planks. The wooden planks are made from, uh, the, with a compressor, which we made earlier. Let's call it MIT license, all right. <laughs> so we had some wood pulp, it's just macerating um, wood into wood pulp and then compress it, we get wood planks. Uh, and we had three books because otherwise books are not easy to make because we need glue. So fortunately I didn't need to make that because we had some. Uh, I looted it from somewhere, I don't remember from where. But uh, yeah, so 
Uh, that allowed me to make the work table, and the work table is kind of nice because it has a bit of a memory and it has its own built-in inventory. Uh, so it remembers the last recipes you did, and I think there's like a locking feature here. There we go. So that way, like if we make more things, I think this locked item will never go away. Um, it'll remember this, this, this recipe, so we don't have to look it up. Yep. All right. And so right now, um, a lot of our tools are in here. And a lot of our tools are actually made out of bronze. And I'm pretty sure that we can make steel versions of those once we have some more steel. Right now we have 24 steel, which is not a lot. Um, one thing I did do, it may not have been wise, but I did do this. I made a, um, a steel pickaxe head for the pickaxe. Um, because that's going to give us a lot more durability and increase our mining level eventually once we use it some more. So getting, getting that going... Uh, sooner is better, you know, once we had the steel, because it's only like one steel ingot put into the, the smeltery and then poured out. Okay. Um, but you can see here, we're down to 26%. This was at a hundred percent, right? Because I swapped out that pickaxe head. Uh, and so I've been do doing a bit of mining. Uh, so what are we doing today though? So I put it in the stream title that the, 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 we are on the road to low voltage. So I think probably the, the, the best thing to do is look at the, uh, the uh, quest book. So there's stuff we need to do. All right, so this is, <laughs> this is, this is why I wanted the steel pick, uh, uh, steel pick and why it's down to 26% because I went to the nether. We went to the nether last time and we did a little looking around. So I went back, went back to uh, through the nether portal, which I can't even see. That's right. Wherever it is, it's over there. Um, but I went in and I did a bunch of mining Oop. and, uh, I got a bunch of sulfur that's somewhere. Sulfur. There we go. Uh, a stack and, um, almost three quarters of a stack and we're not processing it yet. Why not? Uh, we have a little crushed sulfur ore here. We should probably figure out what to do with that. Oh yeah, we can do that. We can put it in the masturbator. Okay. So why didn't we already do that? Okay, well that, that's going to be a thing that we're going to do. So let's go back to the quest book. Uh, quest book tells us all the stuff we need to do <laughs> here. Um, so, how to make rubber. It tells us because we we completed the extractor and we completed the uh, the nether portal and uh, so I went and did a bunch of mining so you, I needed to mine a stack of sulfur ore half a stack of pyrite ore and 16 sphalerite which I don't think we have a use for yet but will be helpful later for uh, zinc I think um, so we should pick one of these rewards so this is interesting. So one of the things we got as a reward, I'm not sure if I did this on stream. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So this was at the end of the last stream. After we went to the nether, we completed this and I wasn't sure which loot item to take. I think I ended up taking the, uh, the loot bag. Uh, but anyway, you get this uh, imp, skin, imp skin helmet and uh, basically armor, right? And it gives you uh, fire protection and blast protection uh, and that's the, in Feather Falling, too. So some good enchantments. Um. <laughs> There's lots of, lots of gotchas. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so anyway, um. So potentially, if we take the, the Imp Leather, maybe we can make more things to protect us in the nether? I don't know. Uh, I'll just take the loot bag, I think. And we'll get that different kind of food. Because different kinds of food are good. And we're gonna, we're gonna save those loot bags for later. Let's go put the coins away. Um, but yeah, so the path to low voltage. 
is is not something we're going to do all today, uh, but is is something we're going to be continuing on uh, to get there. I mean, I guess we can just see the the whole thing, right? So, where does low voltage get unlocked? Uh, let's see. Is it? If we look over here. Steam Malicious is the requirement. So which one is Steam Malicious? This one. So we need to get here to unlock uh, the LV quests. And this will, you know, getting here involves making the uh, steam turbine, which allows us to take steam and turn it into electricity and uh, making electronic circuits and, and, and various things. So it'll be uh, kind of involved, but that's, that's the whole point of something like this. Uh, all right, so you need raw rubber and sulfur. Find the sulfur vein, uh, yada, 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 and then rubber. So it wants us to get raw rubber dust and sulfur dust to make, uh, and then make rubber bars from that. So I think that's what we should probably do next. Um, I think at some point though, here really soon, I'm going to need to do something about the, uh, the living situation here. This is not enough space. Um, yeah, but one thing at a time. Deal with one problem at a time. So raw rubber dust, where can we get that? We can extract that from uh, slimy leaves, slime balls. Hey, sticky resin. So one sticky resin gives us three raw rubber dust. Is there any other use for sticky resin? Well, if we had a centrifuge, we had, would have other, other options. But, uh, no. Okay, so, um, 120 divided by three. How much sticky resin do you have? 31. So that's not enough to get enough raw rubber dust, unfortunately. So we need more sticky resin. Um, we could make tree taps for the rubber trees that we planted over yonder. Ah, oh, there's the portal. Uh, or we can just cut down the trees and uh, put them in the masturbator, I think, is the thing we could do. these trees are not that tall so it's not not as annoying as cutting down like one of those trees and I think if we take this we'll get a bunch of saplings hopefully a little glitchy at the start uh, let's see. The night is almost upon us. We didn't get a sapling, huh? That's it. that's too bad. Okay, so rubber wood. We'll check that check out the recipe in a second. Because I'm pretty sure we'll be able to macerate it, and we'll be able to get sticky resin from the logs. I was hoping to get some saplings too, so we could replant. Uh, Let's see, recipes. Hello there. Hello there, hey Foxy. How's it going? Happy Monday. Mm, so not the macerator, because we just get wood pulp. Uh, oh, extractor into uh, raw rubber dust. <laughs> Are you uh, all packed up, Foxy? Better, yeah, yeah, I was saying at the beginning that um, I would say like 90%, 95% of the way there. 
kind of sluggish today, but fever went away. <laughs> so that's good. So that's that's a good start. Um, yeah, I got a, a lot of sleep over the weekend though, which is good. All right, so yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what we can do with these rubber logs. I think we it's one to one in the extractor, which is unfortunate. Um, we are we are gonna get some sticky resin for cutting down the trees. It's a lot easier than uh, making the tree tap, though, right? The tree tap we gotta like make all these different pipes, and we get one that has sixteen uses. I don't think it's worth the hassle. Versus, let's cut down the trees, and hopefully we'll get some saplings. I was, um, last week, oh, I think there's a sapling, yep, two saplings, good, good, good. Um, last week at one point I was doing some farming stuff over here to, uh, try to breed the, uh, sticky, the stick reed plant, which would give us, uh, sticky resin, like, and we could just plant, like, all the farmland with it, and that would be really good for making rubber. But I was not successful at doing that, and I ran out of patience. We did breed up some uh, sugar beets. Which I have eaten this before. I think it's not it's not craftable into a seed, though. So it's kind of a... You have to use the IC2 crop sticks to do things with it. Anyway. Uh, we're going to finish loading the pods. Oh, a pod. Fancy. Head out Wednesday morning. All right. Well, good luck. Safe driving. Uh, I, we got we got more tree, trees to chop over here. More rubber wood to collect. So we need a total of 120 um, We probably have Say 90 of that so we only need like We might actually already have enough to do what the quest demands of us. Let me let me keep chopping over here. Uh, most of babies are gonna. Most of babies are in good mood when they are working up, so it's good for the kids. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure what you mean, Nate. It's annoying when trees intersect like this because then the leaves don't. Oh yeah, now we have an oak sapling that I don't want. Put that over there. Uh, I think for now this will be good. This will be enough um, for you know the next step. We're gonna have to do something fancier. <laughs> Longer term to get all the rubber we're going to need because we're going to need so much. Oh, no crying today. Well, that's good. Lots of cherries here along the path per Foxy's request. I was going around and harvesting them uh, the last time I was playing. Uh, offline, but uh, we, get, we get things to do here. I'm gonna finish uh, this peanut ham soup so it's just not clogging <laughs> the inventory. There we go. Uh, all right, so yes, yes. So we get a lot of stuff to process here, uh, but not in this machine. Not in this machine either. Not in that machine. Are we doing anything with the compressor? Okay, so we're gonna take out the compressor. Probably gonna take out this wrench here pretty soon. And it's gone. There it is. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm saying though, that the things are just so full in here that we need a bigger space for all the machines. That'll be uh, a thing to do once it's just <laughs> too much. All right, so uh, sticky resin first? I guess so. <laughs> uh, 
and then we'll put in the uh, rubber wood on top. There we go. And that should get us... I thought we had more than that. Thirty-eight. No, no, that's right, because it's doing three per, right? Yeah, yeah, so there should be three raw rubber dust in here now. Nice. Okay, cool. Now, the sulfur... I need to kind of... Let's see, sulfur, sulfur. And we have this here that we could process. In fact, let's take this and put this in. And then let's kind of throw that in there. Uh, I tried watching movies but couldn't. Uh, past nights we could. Oh. Uh, we get headaches from trying to watch movies. So, these machines are working, right? Oh, yeah. Don't don't stand in front of the uh, the vents. <laughs> All right. I think we may though be kind of at our limit when it comes to processing things. Okay, that is connected though, and so is that. Ow. <laughs> uh it's all connected though, okay. Cool. So, given our current, ah, there we go. Ah, there we go. So we're we're uh, processing the sulfur ore. It's turning into a crushed sulfur ore, and then I'm just gonna go down here and have it. Macerate a second time, which is going to give us uh, impure dust that we can wash. There we go. That That's what I was looking for. All right. And this is also doing its thing. We're also getting raw rubber dust. So now we're producing both the things we need to make the, the rubber for the quest, the rubber bars. Uh, and I think we're on the path to having enough of everything. Uh, one thing I want to do... Oh, right. I want to fall right there now. Uh, one of the things I did was I did make another cauldron so we'd have some water here so that I wouldn't have to run all the way over there to wash uh, impure dust. There. Now, in my bag somewhere, <laughs> that went. There we go. Now we have coal dust. And I'm pretty sure we can use coal dust to make steel. Hey, you caught it. Nice. Which is good because you can see we ran through that cold coke quite quick. There we go. All right. Do we have a place where we're storing? Nope. Uh, inventory is going to be a, a significant problem <laughs> going forward. At least we have these drawers over here for things, but that's one of the things we're going to need uh, a lot more. We need a lot more drawers for stuff or something. All right. So that's doing its thing. There we go. So we got our first uh, impure piles of sulfur dust that we'll be able to wash to get sulfur dust. We got more crushed sulfur ore co coming in here that we can put in there. We're processing the sticky resin. We have 24 raw rubber dust. So. What is the next thing to do? We can look at the quest book to see kind of what the, the upcoming things are, right? So we're going to be able to get, woo, four sticky resin as a reward. I know, don't know why we would pick that. Probably probably pick the loot bag. And this is going to unlock some stuff. I think another direction to look uh, is these areas here. So better than iron, 
for raw iron ingots. We get another hammer and a wrench, which is really nice since our wrench is about to break anyway. Uh, and I believe if I set this up right, there should be, yeah. Uh, okay, well, some raw iron nuggets. Oh, uh, we ran out of fuel. <laughs> okay, well, there would be more if I would have kept that fuel, but never mind that. We got creosote to fuel that furnace. Do one more of those. Hmm. Uh, so the wrought iron nuggets, I think we can, I can't manually craft it into like uh, an ingot, like you can in vanilla, but we can use the compressor. So you can press it into ingots. So we pop the, the compressor back out and use that. Uh, so we could do that. It's not as good as steel. It's mostly used in machine holes or in tools if you don't want to use steel up for that. So you can see here, level two wrench, that's presumably uh, wrought iron, is 38,400 durability. Whereas the bronze one was 19,000. So an upgrade. I'm not sure why the, oh, I see, right? Because this was like a multi-stage process. We had a raw, like a crushed ore that I put in the top. Right there. Okay, we're not, we're not, probably not gonna turn that all into raw iron, but that'll be fine. We're just trying to get um, 63, okay. Let's check in. Uh, we should be good. It's gonna be a while before this fills up with uh, uh, sulfur. Let's keep this topped up. Is this is this one to one? Probably is. Yeah, one to one. So that'll be forty, which I think is what we needed for this quest, right? Forty sulfur dust. So let's stop processing the sulfur. Uh, I wanna just process enough stuff to kind of get us to the next stage um, because otherwise we're gonna, it's gonna be inefficient. We're gonna have more efficient ways of processing stuff maybe uh, as we get into uh, low voltage. Um, so we're, we're waiting on this. We're waiting on this. Let's check out Alamite. So Alamite is an ingot we can make. Hmm. You can make it by mixing obsidian steel and aluminum in the smeltery, but to get a much better yield, you can also uh, search for an alternate recipe using dusts. Uh, all of my pickaxes are able to mine Ardite in the nether. Why did I make a steel one then? Whoops. Thaumium tool rod is interesting. Durability modifier. Interesting. Um, okay, so let's... So we could, you know, go the easy way where we look at the, the smeltery alloying route. Molten aluminum, steel, and obsidian, and we just throw those things in. It's not a good ratio, right? A lot of waste, it seems. Uh, there was another. Oh, yeah, I, I already bookmarked it. <laughs> so if we have the dusts, like aluminum dust and obsidian dust and steel dust, we can make eight. I don't know. Is that a better? That's like five parts to... That is better. That's way better. I'm pretty sure. I think if we melt that, yeah, that's an ingot. That's a way better of a deal to, to go through the dusts. Uh, so how do we get aluminum dust? I'm guessing 
uh, a bunch of different ways, but we can macerate uh, raw aluminum or uh, aluminum or berries or other things. So with the raw aluminum, which we have already, we can't do it by hand. We would need to bring it over to the macerator. So that would be another thing we're waiting for. How much? We just need one ingot. Uh, but of course the recipe makes eight. So that that's good. So we would need five pieces of raw aluminum and then some obsidian and some steel dust. The steel dust we can probably just macerate steel or something, right? Or even do it by hand. Hmm. Maybe not. Yeah, steel dust. Uh, steel and a mortar. Okay. That's doable. Uh, we would need to get obsidian, which we can we can go and mine that. Um, so I know we had one obsidian dust. How many did we need? Okay, so we probably... I think I'm saving that obsidian dust for something else that I haven't gotten around to making yet. Something about a tank. <laughs> uh, but we can make some more obsidian. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have the obsidian right here. Of course. Can I can I just hand process that? Do I still have a uh, a mortar somewhere? Remember mortars? <laughs> oh, there's drawers that I'm not using for anything. Oh, they, there's rubber sheets right there. Those will come in handy real soon. I wonder. No, I can't. Could I cheese the other quest? Seven raw iron ingots. Just m smelt the raw iron plates back into ingots. I guess I could have done that. We are we're we're on our way though. How many? Uh, oh yeah, I have enough for that. But then I'd have to compress them. So we'll we'll come back to that later. Um, still wondering if I have a, uh, a mortar somewhere. I guess I could make one. It's been a while. Or I could just use the, the macerator. But the macerator is busy with things. Oh, no, it's not. It's doing stuff that I don't really care about right now. Yeah, just some redstone. Just working through the backlog of ores. There we go. So, yeah, we're processing that. That's great. Um, and then uh, aluminum. So let's go get that aluminum. Let's keep ourselves busy here. Uh, this doesn't seem to want to work. That's too bad. I thought this was going to work. Maybe I misunderstood. Maybe it's a different blast furnace. No, here's this here. Primitive blast furnace. But maybe not making steel. Steel ingot, coal dust, iron. Okay. Four. Ah. Tiny pile of ashes was in the way for some reason. Because it has a different output for the uh, for that version of the recipe that uses the coal dust. I'm was that why the uh, the charcoal didn't work either? I guess I'll find out once we go through the, the coal dust. Okay. Hmm, interesting. All right, I don't actually need to carry these rubber sheets on me right now. Let's 
pass the night and then we'll go over and see what uh, how much aluminum we have. All right. The corners, it just likes to fling me off. It's a very aggressive road. <laughs> Go play outside on the... <laughs> uh-huh. Moon, yes. I assume that was what the the <laughs> what you were talking about. Uh, I don't know. That seems bad. Uh, I I think I would be adding to my head collection <laughs> if I were to do that. Uh, all right. What what am I over here for? Oh yeah, aluminum. Okay, so if I want this aluminum, I need to pour it. I want to do that in a way that's not going to mix with... I probably don't have... Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. I don't have any... Uh, uh, Volo's ice pick seemed bad, too, but that worked out. Sure. I mean, maybe. Maybe I survive and I get some land, random loot drop that... You know, saves me a dozen hours. You never know. All right, so that that's gonna do that. Uh, I'm gonna steal this hopper really quick so we can get this queued up. How much? Um, how much aluminum is this? Two. Oops, I accidentally took some out. There we go. All right, so we got four ingots of aluminum. How many did I need? I don't know why I'm looking there. I should look here. Five, yeah? But I have two and a feather. Three. Well, let's not smelt those yet. I'll keep the. Uh, I don't want a bunch of extra aluminum in the uh, the smeltery because if I ever put copper in it, it'll alloy uh, into aluminum, bronze, or whatever, and I don't necessarily want that until I do for making uh, you know molds. For casting stuff. Hey, you caught gold bat. Congratulations. All right. Did I have a, uh, a mortar over here? Mm, looks like no. I guess I used the macerator. That's fine. How is the uh, how's the lunchbox doing? All right, we have we're down to fifteen uh, roasted potatoes on a stick. That's uh not great. When those run out, we'll have to uh, replenish them, or maybe even before they run out, <laughs> we can replenish them. I, I have to say though, I'm not a fan of having things in the lunch box that involve a bowl or a stick though, because then I just get random bowls and sticks in my inventory that I have to deal with when I eat them. All right, how's this doing? Slowly making more steel, that's good. Basically just wanna keep that running all the time. And eventually, eventually we'll need to add, like make another one. That's funny. The letter, yeah. <laughs> well, no, we'll be able to reuse them. Uh, yeah. We'll be able to ma make more food stuff. But then it's going to just perpetuate, right? We're always going to have these bowls to deal with and these sticks if we keep on using it as the 
the thing that we uh, eat, right? We gotta deal with them, pick up after ourselves. Uh, anyway, so we have five raw aluminum. We're probably done with the obsidian. Let's get uh, the aluminum in there. So we should have our obsidian dust. There we go. And then... Two steel dust. Hmm. We can't macerate this, right? I wasn't completely sure. I mean, we could see it has a mortar recipe. But what about in the macerator? So many machines, so little time. So now there's no macerator recipe. So I think I will make another mortar. Uh, so that's like five stone, not six. And we can just use iron, I guess. And I can demo the work table. So basically, you can put a recipe in without actually having the items in question. And it shows, hey, here's the recipe for that. And then if you have the items, then you can craft it. And then it remembers it. So we can quickly pull that recipe back up. This isn't that nice. All right, so we're gonna mortar these steel ingots. That works. All right. And then, okay. Making progress here on the sulfur dust. Uh, we're gonna need some water in the cauldron, so let me do that. It's easy to do now. We got a replenishing source of water here in the uh, water tank. Um, so in terms of like this area, let's not fall into, <laughs> let's not let's not fall into that. Um, so probably what's gonna make sense is that I would like to clean up all the extra leaves, but. Uh, have water tanks at the top. I'm thinking in terms of like, we'll just use the 16 by 16 chunk and build a little base. There are some limits to that because you don't want to ever be in a situation where you put so much stuff into one chunk that the game uh, can't load the chunk because there's too much stuff. That is a thing that can happen. If that happens, then uh, the game might not load or it might just delete the chunk. Uh, bad times. I think there's a fix for that coming in a future version of uh, this mod pack. Um, or a, like an increase in the kind of the size limits. Yeah, that would be really bad. Imagine you're like, oh, let me put all my, let me put all of my uh, chicken eggs into one little tiny basket. What could possibly go wrong? And then it all goes wrong. It all goes poof. So anyway, uh, yeah. So we're not gonna build like a mega base or anything, but just in terms of like next thing, use these water tanks uh, up top to collect a lot of, what is, you know, supposed to be like re representing like rainwater. Collect a bunch of water. Then we'll have um, our steam production. So right now we're using small coal boilers. Probably try to find something bigger. Maybe make the solar ones. We have a little bit of silver. I don't know if we have enough silver actually but anyway uh so water production steam production and then maybe a tank to hold the steam and then um and then all of our machinery below that and we'll just have a staircase up something like that with a little bit of space so that way if the steam boilers explode maybe it doesn't take out everything uh anyway all right are we done with the next thing yet Oh, we're backed up. There's five. Oh yeah, so this chest is full of <laughs> stuff. Uh, there we go, we got... Oh yeah, because we have like two different machines all pumping uh, stuff into one chest right now. 
it's not exactly um, the most efficient thing. Crush sulfur ore. That was what was left over from before. Let's drop that in there. So when this when this finishes, we'll have enough sulfur. Uh, almost nighttime. Check in on this situation. Yeah, we have enough raw rubber dust now. So once the uh, once the sulfur is done here in a couple minutes, then it can all go together. I think it goes goes into the alloy smelter, which we've not used in uh, in quite a while actually. Oh, I have speed three, so I have very <laughs> get some uh, change field of view effects. But yeah, we have not really used the uh, alloy smelter in a while, but I, I think it's this machine. Uh, so anyway, so we have five and two and two, so we should be able to make alumite. Let's go over here. Alumite? Alumite. Now that doesn't complete the quest, because we need the ingot. Ooh. Leave the rest of your alumite as liquid in your smeltery. You'll want it to make a tool forge. You need 16 ingots in the smeltery to make two large plates. Interesting. So the thing that it's it's wanting us to, where's the fancy water set up? Oh, it's uh, it's behind me. I, I kind of put it to the side when I uh, wasn't filling well, and I haven't set it back up yet. So it's just the plain glass for right now. It took me a second to realize you were not talking about stuff in, in the game. <laughs> Um, the thing it's trying to drive us towards is the tool forge, which is bookmarked here. Oh yeah, we need two alumite large plates to do this. The reason for the tool, tool forge, if you don't know, is that it's going to let us make some better tools that are going to let us uh, mine, like clear out stuff faster. Uh, and that's going to be good. So each of these requires... 1,152 millibuckets. It's very helpful. Uh, what is that divided by 144? <laughs> what is what is 1,152 divided by 144? Well, I guess the quest book tells us, right? Because it says you need 16 ingots, so it must be eight. So we need more than this. Okay, well, um, how much more? We probably honestly want to just make like two more batches of that. Let me double check something here. So smelting, that gives us one. 144 millibuckets, okay. <laughs> If, if we had a centrifuge, which is something that when we get to low voltage, when we have electricity, we can do. You can do the opposite. You can take alumite and you can break it down into its component parts. It's cool. All right, anyway. Oh, hey, look, we got 40. All right, so we're gonna process this obsidian into obsidian dust. We're gonna wash the uh, impure sulfur dust. It's now pure. Uh, and in a bag somewhere. All right, and so we got these things. And so rubber bar we make in the alloy smelter with rubber dust and sulfur or sulfur dust or sulfur or sulfur. <laughs> One of the sulfurs. Uh, the purpose of making the rubber here is uh, really to wrap wires. Uh, for the same reason you don't want to, uh, say, walk on or touch these bronze fluid pipes or any of the fluid pipes that have like steam or molten metal in them, you don't want to touch uh, an electrical wire. 
So as part of us getting to actually using electricity, we need insulation. Uh, go figure. All right, so raw rubber dust and sulfur dust. And there we go, away we go. We'll make our very first rubber uh, bars. Rubber bar. Now to complete the quest, I think we have to make 40 of those. So this will take a minute and we'll have to check in on it to feed it the rest of the raw rubber dust. Now, something I wasn't sure about, but I saw in a video was that I knew that there's certain things that if stuff doesn't complete uh, in certain machines in this pack, that um, things can go really badly where stuff is just lost. Fortunately, that doesn't apply to these little one block machines. <laughs> oh, Foxy. That is uh, not good advice. <laughs> I think that is um, possibly true. But not in a way that, <laughs> not in a good way. All right, I think we're gonna have to shut off some of the steam inputs because we're not producing enough steam here for all of the machines, unfortunately. Um, I think we can take that out. You know what's fortunate though, is that you can see here the pipe is like, it's still sticking out. Steam isn't shooting out of it, so there's that. So there's that. All right, so that should be a more manageable. Oh, hey, I had rubber rubber wood right here. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Um, well, I guess if nothing else, this is going to be done in a minute, and then we should ow. <laughs> have more steam. Let's see, and we, we still have lots of uh, charcoal for the, the boilers, so it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, what else did we need? We need more aluminum, as it turns out, and we need more uh, steel. If we're gonna do two more recipes, then we need four steel ingots. go and uh, this is still thinking I think we should be oh it's not connected ow it's not connected that's why it's not doing anything uh, let's see how can I how can I get to the side of that hmm Oh, buy wrench. <laughs> and it's gone. Well. Hey. Daddy, Daddy Diddy. Diddy just raided with 32 viewers. Thank you so much for the raid. Hello, raiders. Uh, unfortunately, that... Hold on, let me do this. <laughs> let, me, let me snooze the ads for a little bit. <laughs> I'm not going to tempt you right into an ad after you come in. Hello, hello, shiny bucket, daddy diddy, welcome, welcome. Uh, suddenly, excitement. Uh, <laughs> how's it going? I'm assuming, uh, hey, thanks for the follow. Let me, let me see if I can get shiny that shout out Shiny bucket underscore going. just followed. Hold on. I'm assuming though, that you were doing some Greg tech. I have this feeling. Yeah, usually a GTNH streamer, but tonight was playing Ray Tech on uh, ATM nine. Nice. <laughs> so here's Frosty Tool summary. 
And let me know if that's correct or incorrect. Uh, wow. Yeah, so ATM9. I've, I've heard some people are doing that recently. But uh, I've only been playing uh, Great Tech New Horizons just in the last, uh, what, like two months? Yeah, something like that. So I've been, uh, you know, I'm still Steam Age. <laughs> but getting there. You're all about bees in GT and H. Uh, yeah, I think I think I saw a reference to that in uh, Three Folds video, not too long ago, maybe. But uh, yeah, I I'm looking forward to doing some bee stuff at some point, but it's gonna be a while. Yeah, it'll be you. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right, so we're kind of multitasking a couple different things here. So one thing was trying to figure out how uh oh right so i, I just broke my <laughs> i just broke my uh wrench i guess i'll make another bronze one i have a lot of bronze relatively speaking uh how do i make a wrench again it's been a while since um, helps if i spell Use that add a little bit more. All right. Uh, oh, and it is the hammer. Okay, cool. Hammer. There we go. Oh, it's six. That makes sense. Oh, and it's night. Must sleep. All right. So now I can continue what I was doing before, which is trying to figure out without. Pulling everything apart. Uh, okay, hate to raid and dash, but I gotta get some stuff done. I mean, that, that's always how it is. I appreciate you coming by. I appreciate the raid. Uh, hope to see you around again sometime. Uh, I gotta. I, am I? Ow. <laughs> You're following me. Am I following you? Daddy, does he just followed? Well, now I am. I'll have to uh, come check out your stream sometime. See how the ATM stuff is going. All right. How do I? I can definitely. Like, remove the pipe. And then I can connect that side. There we go. It's not exactly what I wanted to do. Because I think that maybe avoided some steam. Alright. But at least it's going again. I was sitting here for a couple minutes like, oh, uh, it's it's going, it's going in and it stopped. I was like, oh, well, let me let me shut stuff off. But it wasn't even connected to the, the steam pipe at all. It just had residual steam from, like, sessions ago the last time I used it whoops uh, all right so I do need to take a little break though um, because I like to have like middle mid roll ads going so the people that are first coming in don't hit an ad uh, and I like to be able to stretch my legs and uh, you know, it's a health thing, not just a, a Twitch thing. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna take a break here just for a couple of minutes. And uh, when I come back, we're gonna come back to uh, trying to get ourselves into uh, the, the voltage tier, have electricity. It'll be a little while, but we're, we're gonna get there. BRB. <laughs> 